What's going on today guys? Today I want to talk about the five things that I hate about my G35 coupe and five things that I love about it. Well, we'll start with the things that I love about it. One, just how it looks. Like how clean that car is. There's The body lines are just so smooth. There's nothing like cluttering it or anything. It's just nice and clean. Uh, the next thing I love is the sound. The VQ35 is probably the best sounding V6 I've ever heard that isn't something exotic or Italian. Um, third thing would be the handling. I know people overuse the term handling on rails, but this thing really does. Um, another thing I love is the part of the handling would be the brakes. Um, 03 and 04 had Brembo option. Mine has the Brembos. All six speed coupes had the Brembos, I think. But yeah, it's a super nice option to have. They work really well. And they look good. Oh, the next thing I love is the interior. It's a really nice, nice for Nissan interior. Uh, it's heated leather, power everything. It's just a nice uh, interior, Bose stereo. Everything to keep you comfortable and listening to music that sounds good. Okay, we'll move on to the things that I hate about this car. Number one is the oil consumption. All VQs consume oil. You can't get around it. Every one of them do. But it's not a big deal if you keep an eye on it. Uh, the next thing that I really hate about this car is the fuel economy. Um, I think it's rated for 26 or something. I get like 22 on the on the freeway cruising with no air conditioning on. And in the winter, I just drive around town to get to work. I get maybe 12 in the winter. It's pretty bad, to be honest. Then again, I do drive it kind of spiritedly, so that's probably what has to do with it. But if I'm taking it easy. Um, I'll get about 22 on the freeway, which is n not good, <laughs> especially for a V6. Especially for a pretty low displacement V6. Yeah, these cars, you can pick them up for pretty cheap now. I bought this one for $5,000. I think it's probably the best deal that I could find on an, on an 03 Coupe 6-speed. Um, yeah, it's been super reliable. I haven't had to do anything to it. I put a belt on it because the AC belt, the original AC belt, decided to let go. Which is no big deal. So, yeah, it's super reliable. I have yet to have any failures at all on it. And I just love this car. It's probably the best five thousand dollars I've ever spent. So here we are on the inside. Um, dash. It's uh, I like the orange actually. It's easy on your eyes. A lot of people say that the yellow looks really ugly, but it's not bad actually, because a uh, yellow light hurts your eyes less at night than a white light. A white light really hurts your eyes. It puts a lot of strain on your eyes, and you definitely notice it after a few hours. So yeah, that's a really nice thing to have. Actually, we kind of thought about that. Um, I don't have the original. I don't have the original head unit. It's just some Pioneer Bluetooth one. I think it's an older model. It's nice. I mean, it works. The Bose stereo sounds really good, even with that deck in it. But yeah, we'll do a cold start for you. Actually, it's not really cold to be honest, but do a start for you. <laughs> One thing I love about this car is the pedal feel, actually, which is kind of strange to say. But the clutch is a nice, heavy clutch. All the pedals are really heavy, and I like that. They're not like super heavy, like to where they seem like something's wrong, but they're a comfortable heavy. I don't like pedals like, say, a Chrysler 300. I hate 300s. The pedals in those things are stupid soft, and I can't, I can't stand soft pedals. They just suck, and they're just annoying. Because if you just uh, if you hit a bump. And your foot, like, it moves your foot. <laughs> You're stepping on the gas. I mean, what the fuck? So yeah, I get a nice solid pedal. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice feel. The steering is is really heavy, and it feels good to be honest. I hate overpowered steering, so it's a nice. Uh, I'm used to cars with no power steering at all, so it's nice to have a heavier steering. Yeah, I give it some revs here. exhaust I have on here is actually just a, a cheaper 
dual exhaust with the mufflers removed. I think it sounds pretty good to be honest. What do you guys think? Thank you.